Welcome to Boneheaded Motors. That's one way to park it. That might have been one way to park it, but this is definitely not one way to pull it out. I probably wouldn't follow this guy's method either. Welcome back, crew, to this episode of Googans of the Week. Now, at first glance, this doesn't look that bad until you really stop and think about this one. I mean, if this boat starts rolling back, how in the world is this crew actually going to stop it? I mean, I guess you just do whatever you gotta do to get that boat down to the boat ramp. Nothing's gonna stop the Googans from getting down there. I mean, surely he knows, right? He's gotta know. He's gotta know that's behind him, right? I mean, maybe he's heading down to the boat ramp thinking he's gonna be able to put it out down there just by dropping it off. I mean, this crew's figured it out. The easiest way to go ahead and get that boat launched is, well, let the car be the boat. And I don't know why. In this one, I feel like I'm watching that scene from Back to the Future where they say, where we're going, Marty, we don't need roads. Apparently, this guy says that all the time when they're going to the boat ramp. Who needs the boat ramp? I'm just going to go wherever I want. I guess I'm partially wrong. It does appear he needs a ramp of some sort to kind of finish this out. Thanks for watching, crew. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Googans of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out at your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Linda Hemingway, Adam Coolidge, and Bacon did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.